All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War uh, with another quick one, quick, quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and this is verse 16. It says, Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? All right, so the scriptures say, well, well, let me say Yahweh Shai say, all right, because this is actually also written in red. So this is his words. He said, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs or thistles? You know, what are the fruits? The fruits are the men who follow, all right, the men who follow in the same mind, sound doctrine, and that can produce, you know, that can actually be a tree themselves and produce more fruit. So you would know them by their fruits. All right, and I have to say here at Great Millstone, starting with the elders apostles, all right, here at Great Millstone, you clearly see that, all right, sticking with prophecy, uh, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, all right, you see the fruits. And the fruits are across the world. The brothers who are out pushing all around the world. All right, you got a brother from Germany, a uh, brother from Holland Dutch. They were speaking in tongues, you know, but speaking with different languages, this truth, you know. So the Israelites are scattered and you see the Lord's fruits. Let me read verse 15 to, uh, you know, get some more insight. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raven wolves, ravening wolves. Because you got men that are set up that also know this truth, but they're going to teach lies. You know, and for a couple of reasons. For one, the Lord just blinded them because they're not of the elect, the first fruits. Number two, because they're going after Filky Lucas, fame. Okay? You know, they done took backdoor deals. And, and, and they what? False prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing. You know, they come with the doctrine of being an Israelite. And then they got these new traditions. You know, I posted yesterday night. I don't know, it was real late last night where somebody sent me a message. And I was checking out the video. And, and here it is, they have rewards. This, I think they did that this last week. You know, you got Israelite camps out here that are having awards, awards ceremonies, you know, for being a mighty prophet, for being a great singer, a great songwriter, you know, and that's a new trend, a new tradition. That's not even of the Lord's holy days. You know, here we are waking back up to this truth. The scriptures say it was our minds to go astray, seek him 10 times more. If we seek the Lord 10 times more, you know, more and more we'll be what? More serious minded. All right, spiritual, you know, and all for truth. You know, we're, we're, we're a truth camp. We're not a hate group, we're a truth group. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's truth, okay, which will reign superior in this earth, okay, because the prophecies are being fulfilled, man. You know, Elder Yasha Wamba, I was checking his page out, uh, what's that, GMS Remnant, you know, and he did a lesson, which he said the elders in Connecticut, they put out, they brought it out in their live stream. And uh, how there's an article where these elites are trembling, you know, they're trembling because Yahweh sent them a message and basically in a nutshell told them that their time is up. And that happened back in 2017. So now, you know, you can clearly see it just adds on more of the reason or let's say more insight and lighten on the scripture of Revelations 12 and 12. He cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time, you know. This is why they took their resources, their money, and they're building upon the CERN program. You know, they have this CERN with this this um, this this machine, which could be a weapon, a defense. You know, they look into time travel. Esau has insight, okay, knowledge of of powers that is not revealed even unto us, okay. And that's through the Lord's left hand side, and so that's what they're in the race for. To escape the judgment that Yahweh Shah is going to bring upon them. So anyway, let's continue. 
let's go back down to seven let's move on verse 17 it says even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit you know because if you're not built if you're not rooted and built up the right way all right eventually through time through age you know when the seasons change you know you're going to see what that tree is all about you know sort of like when you plant a flower you know if it get its right nutrients the sun water it grows it grows well it grows beautiful you love it you know and then sometimes in some cases you may plant a, a flower tree whatever the case may be and then it grows up with weeds you know it grows up you know looking to form you know and it's ugly you want to chop it down you want to pull it from its root and maybe start over so it says even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit what is that those are meat for repentance as john the baptist okay john the baptist the forerunner of yahweh shai okay as he said bringing forth uh 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 uh, 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 uh meat for repentance the humble to repentance to this word to yahweh shai you know not some guy would have ulterior motive or even you women you know when you come into this truth, you put your hand to the plow. There is no looking back. You have to, you know, be in tune with your husband's spirit. You know, that's all you should be worried about. Your husband is your Lord. You know, either way, down the line, a woman is going to be under a man. That's order. You know, so it says, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. All right. Men who are in the world, who got, you know, still carrying the, the ways of the world. But here they calling themselves an Israelite. They transform their rap words, their rap songs into spiritual bars. You know, here it is. They handle you, do you women in that worldly state of mind because they haven't fully put away the old man. So now they're just, you know, just defiling all of, all of you women, you know, <laughs> you know, just jumping on them, popping them. And guess what? You stuck, you know, because some of these niggas ain't right, man, you know. But anyway, you know, even you women coming in the wrong way in these certain groups gotta gotta say the same for y'all you know thinking you could hop from man to man you know talk about your man all on social media you know thinking this thinking that struck with all this amazement you know not in order man that's gonna be what that's of the evil fruit the corrupt tree and that's gonna be hewn down and spit out so it says a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit let me read that again. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. All right. This is why we are serious minded brothers here at Great Millstone, you know, starting with our apostles and elders, because we know the seriousness of this truth, man. You know, we understand the meaning of certain words, which, which gives more insight and lighten, you know, get raised you closer. You know, to the to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. You know, to, to see, to know, you know, to, to expect, you know, to know the truth. You know? You know, uh, to be separate. You start seeing the world in a different lens. You know? Uh, verse 20. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. You see that? Wherefore by their fruits you shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. You know? And that's the A hey, right there should put fear in you, man. Because you want to be one of those ones that the Lord deem, you know, and elect, select, you know, as you as his elect. You don't want to be the ones where the Lord say, you know, I never knew you, you know? It says, not everyone that say, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's why you're not supposed to be playing around with this thing. You know, making this thing like like, like uh, some street shit. You know, this is not some street street shit. Okay, this is some holy, uh, um, this is a holy ministry, man. Okay, it says, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Doing the will of the Father is doing the works, man. All right, in the right way, in truth and sincerity. Okay, you could do the will of the Lord, but is it but is it in truth and sincerity? 
You got men out here doing the works of the Lord, but here they looking for more women. They looking for fame. They looking for money, bigger congregation. They want to be seen as something. And as Yahweh Shai said, you have received your consolation. You know, every rich man received their consolation. You know. So, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Yeah, because you got brothers that do these works, you know, and they got 100,000 views on YouTube. You got Edomites coming and bowing down to their feet, you know. They'll say, Lord, have not we prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils. We woke brothers up. Mad Israelites woke up. You know, this dude used to be a gangbanger. Now he's no gangbanger no more. He's an Israelite. Yeah, but the nigga ain't fully put away the old man. Okay? You know, he he still smoking weed while, while he in your camp. Teaching. Or amongst you. You know? Coming to the holy days. Unworthy. You know? Defiled. Come on. In thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So Yahweh Shah is going to say this, man. He's going to say this to individuals. So this should put fear in you to not want to be these individuals that the Lord is going to reject. You know, we want to be accepted of the Lord, man. You know, and I was watching Elder Apostle Taha's video. You know, he was talking about the lukewarm, man. You know, how could you be lukewarm at this time? When all these things are happening, this is what we all look for. This is what the prophets of old in the past that writ that wrote this, written the scriptures inspired by Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, they written for these for this day for our learning. You know, for us to live through it, let it manifest, and then we'll be in our kingdom, man. You know, shit. You know, anyway, um, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever hear of these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Which built his house upon a rock. And that rock is Yahweh Shai. Okay. He is that chief cornerstone. Alright. Which uh, ties a war. You know. That's my Hebrew name. In the spirit. Uh, you know. Through the spirit of the Lord. I received that name. And um, I believe Elder Apostle Sahari broke it down. Maybe a couple years ago. And it goes into siege. You know. Like to take siege. Or. You know. I, I knew. When it came to me. It meant strength and rock, sort of like Peter, that rock, stone, you know. So anyway, you know, neither here nor there. Just thought to, because uh, the word rock reminds me of ties of war. So hopefully this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. And to the hopeful elect, stay strong, brothers, and keep pushing, man. Lord willing, we almost out of here. Shalom.